Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to WillieHow.com, click Hire Us or Contact Us, fill that information form out, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. What we're talking about today is a Unify Pro Tip about the Uplink Connectivity Monitor. So here we are over at our UDM Pro, and we're on the main site under configuration. You can see, yes, I do have the old UI turned on. We're still in this weird place where there's some things in the old, some things in the new, and not in the other. But anyway, what we're looking at is under services, and it's the Uplink Connectivity Monitor. And the reason, and it's, it's, it's actually named weird, right? So here it says Enable Wireless Uplink, and over here it says Uplink Connectivity Monitor. So if we check this box, it's going to come up here, and it's going to give us an option to use the default gateway as the uplink connect connectivity monitor or a custom IP. So you could use 1.1.1.1, 8.8.8.8, .8 some other device. But read this right here in the tooltip. It says, allow automatic wireless meshing of your UAPs. This is required for any unwired or not non-wired, not wired UAP to properly function on the network. It will also cause a UAP that loses its connection to the gateway to stop broadcasting its network. So what does that mean? So if you've got a huge network, and let's say your UDM or your USG or whatever is your gateway out to the, to the Internet, and for some reason your USG goes down, but you've got all this other infrastructure internally that you need to access. If that gateway goes down and this is enabled, your APs stop broadcasting their SSID. So we usually uh, disable that because a lot of times most people need to access other things besides just the internet in an environment. So, and if you don't need uh, wireless uplink, uh, you know, definitely make sure that that is not enabled. So if you've ever run into that, right, if you've ever had uh, where your your Unify access points just stop broadcasting their SSIDs and you can't figure out what's going on, whether the gateway is down or not, the UAPs, the Unify access points, think they can't get to the gateway, so they stop broadcasting their SSID. We've seen that happen in production where the gateway that it's supposed to be pinging is still up, but the access points for some reason think they can't get to it, so they stop broadcasting their SSID. Also, uh, the Amplify product line you didn't used to be able to change that in Amplify. You can now change that in the Amplify product line. Uh, you know, people that have larger homes that have home media and things like that, if their gateway goes down, you know, they uh, still want to be able to um, use their, their Wi-Fi, right? So if you like this video and you want to see more pro tips, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, please comment and share, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron or using our clearly marked affiliate links, those are down below. If you need IT consulting, reach out at willyhow.com. Click hire us, contact us, fill that form out. Someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.